Welcome back, Flare community. I hope you're all well and having an incredible day as always. And yes, it is time for the weekly news catch up where we run through everything significant that's happening on both the Flare network and the Songbird network. We've got Tasmanian in the house. We've got Mockham in the house. We've got Michael Brown in the house. Jimmy Thing, Stoic Captain. We've got Do the Jason, a talk table talk with Tony and Leah, and of course, Professor coming in slightly later than usual, but uh, yeah, we're about to get this show on the road. And of course, we're going to be starting with the signal providers and their weekly performance. So topping the chart this week is Flare.Space. They've actually just brought something out, which we'll talk about in a short moment. In second place, we have Solarius. In third place, Ivy Oracle. In fourth place, Aureus OX, and in fifth place, EDPFTSO. There we go. That's top five for this week on the Flare Network. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but Sparkles has actually had a bit of a rebrand. Yes, they're going to be called from now on X Haven. And here is their, uh, I guess, their recent announcement. Uh, there we go. This is the new website and it's sort of a bit of a facelift, but I believe there may be some new functionality coming too. It looks pretty good in my eyes. Um, I quite like it. I've had a little play around with it and uh, yeah, I am a big fan. So they also have an interesting um, new white paper, which you can look at and you can find that on the website. I'll show you in just a second and uh, definitely worth checking out. There's a lot of things that I want to dig into through this uh, white paper. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably may be making a video specifically on that because it is quite information dense. I do need to have a good look through it. This is what it looks like. This is the new landing screen. Pretty familiar with what you might already um, know and sort of the feel of it, but it just has that little bit extra. So this is what it's looking like. And of course, we're going to be running through the top performing NFT collections um, this week. And actually, you know, by default, they actually show the one month time frame. Um, but it makes sense to me to switch it to seven days since this is a weekly stream. Let me know what you think in the comments. But yes, topping the charts this week, it's no surprise, it's Block Bones. In second place, we have the Loyalists collection from Enosis. And in third place, the Fat Cats. Fourth place, the Flamingos. And in fifth place, we have the S Toads project who are due to be launching their DAP in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. If you didn't know, <laughs> it is yesterday actually was the staking rewards. So if you are holding WFLR, claim them staking rewards and claim them uh, flare drops. So the monthly return on average was 3.8, just under 3.8%, which is pretty crazy for a month's worth of holding um, FLR. And you may even be able to earn using uh, various protocols, right? If you're participating on the Enosis Dex or Blaze Swap or many other Dexes, they actually facilitate uh, the ability to earn the staking rewards or sorry the delegation rewards and also the flare drop rewards which is pretty incredible um very novel to uh the flare side of things compared to other tra chains but uh yeah if you don't claim them within a certain period they do get burnt so this is uh your warning 
<laughs> it just reminded me that, you know, this passive income thing is exhausting. Of course, that was sarcastic. Uh, it's not that that exhausting, but you get monthly flare drops, you get monthly Enosis Helion airdrops if you do hold Helion or XFi on the Songbird network. You get to claim your staking rewards, which is every two weeks. You can claim delegation rewards, which is every or twice every week. And of course, the farming rewards on various DEXs, which is pretty crazy. There's a lot of ways that you can earn on the Flare network and the Songbird network. And yeah, I'm a big fan, I must say. Speaking of burning FLR, another 66 million FLR was burnt recently. This was from three days ago, um, bringing the total to 595 million, which is, you know, a genesis amount of 100 billion. So pretty kept crazy stuff, right? This is actually burnt from the early backers, but they agreed to adjust their allocation to benefit you or us. So pretty good. It means that we're getting a bigger share of the flare drops and all that good stuff and all of the staking rewards or delegating rewards. And they also actually, these um, early backers and investors, they agreed to invest 50% of their profits back into the ecosystem. And that's quite a, I guess, a show of confidence from the investors that they really, really want to accelerate the development and the liquidity on the network. And uh, yeah, I'm here for it. The FTSO V2, or the second version of the FTSO, that's the Flare Time Series Oracle, is a major upgrade. This really is going to be next level. The ability to access high level, or sorry, high integrity data on chain in just one second is an absolute game changer for the industry. There are many different oracles in the space, but I don't think any can compete with such latency of just one second. It's going to be crazy, and I'm really looking forward to this. And it's going to be particularly important for data feeds that need um, real-time data, um, especially if the asset is particularly volatile. This is a nice little um, GIF. I call it GIF. Some people call it GIF. I don't know. I call it GIF. Um, <laughs> FTSO v2 access up to 1,000 highly decentralized data feeds. And we know how the FTSO works sort of absorbing um, or digesting price feeds from 100 individual signal providers and then outputting, spitting out an average, calculated average for everyone to use on the network. If you are a developer and you need access to prices, the FTSO is your best bet. And that is opposed to a centralized API. And also, you know, it's not just going to be price feeds in terms of um, on-chain data. This is going to be scalable um, to include off-chain data too, which is, again, very impressive. Hugo says that Flare is the only data provision service in blockchain that also has its own compute layer, which is the EVM smart contracts that we're all familiar with. This means that people can build both on Flare and elsewhere with Flare's data for a cost. In order for this to happen, the FLR token must be staked or delegated. So very interested, very interesting indeed. And again, the Flare network is very special for this reason. There is no other network like Flare. And I'm not just saying that as a fanboy, it's actually just a fact. Moving along here, we've got this new app from Flare.Space, as I did mention earlier in uh, the stream. You can now actually explore the P-Chain transactions using the P-Chain Explorer. This is built by Flare.Space. Of course, all of the P-Chain activity is relating to staking. So if you do want to have a little peek of what's going on there, you can do so via this app, Flare.Space forward slash app forward slash, sorry, forward slash dap, forward slash p dash chain dash explorer. They also have quite a nice projection for uh, sort of a dap for the projection of staking rewards and delegation rewards and flare drops too. If you are, if you are curious to see how much you may be entitled to or likely to receive uh, by the end of the flare drop period. 
Um, I'm yet to actually listen to this. There was a recent um, ecosystem call. This is the monthly ecosystem call. Um, unfortunately, I was busy today, which is why I wasn't hosting, but it looks like there's some heavy hitters. And recently we did get some uh, news from Hyper Native Labs who are providing, uh, I guess, what is it? Uh, stops zero day cyber attacks and economic risks. So a bit of a security measure that's been implemented on the Flare network. They're going to be observing any malicious activities um, just to give everyone a heads up, just in case that does happen. Hopefully not, uh, but it is what it is. There's also the RAIN protocol, which was something very recently announced. And in fact, if we just skirt over to the next uh, post here on X, RAIN DEX, a revolutionary intense like DEX, decentralized exchange is coming to Flare. Leveraging the Flare Time Series Oracle and Rain Lang, that's a language, I believe, our Rain Protocol empowers users to craft and execute custom sex style trading strategies on chain, permissionless and uh, decentralized and trustless. So this, this a sex is um, a centralized exchange, and that's what you're used to when you go to Coinbase or Binance or Bitrue. A lot of these have um, exchanges where you can actually um, uh, utilize an order book, right? Where people have set prices and you can buy from that, opposed to what we're used to from the normal DEXs, which are predominantly AMMs, which is an automated market maker, where you're trading against a liquidity pool. So this is gonna be very nice because it's not just buy orders and sell orders, you're actually going to be able to utilize um, stop losses, which is great for risk management. And way hey, we've got Yosh100 in the house who just became a Flare community member. Welcome to the family, my friend, and thank you very much for the support. I very much appreciate it. Moving along, we've got some, I guess this is on a similar vein with the decentralized exchanges. One month until Enosis's V3 DEX is... Uh, coming to the Flare network. So this little squiggly line here is important. That represents an approximation. Uh, this is basically concentrated liquidity. It's gonna be quite complicated or a quite a steep learning curve for many of you, which is why I'm going to be creating videos and tutorials to sort of walk you through the process uh, on how to utilize it, because it's likely that this um, V3 DEX may have uh, less slippage. Um, depending on you know the the liquidity that's being provided there, so um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm excited for this, and it's going to open a new chapter in DeFi for us uh, within the Flare community. Again, this is from Kinetic Market, um, another DeFi platform that's on Flare soon to launch. This is quite the infographic and. You know, quite complicated, but I'm looking forward to digging into this a little bit deeper. And something that you may notice is some familiar names here. We've got Enosis pools and swaps. We've got XDeFi here as well. And um, yeah, this is going to be really interesting. It's going to be, I don't know, very interesting to see how all of these different DeFi applications can synergize with each other and utilize each other's technology to give the best um, experience for the users. So I'm really excited about this. And this is quite the, the ecosystem that's being built on Flare. It's going to contain XDeFi, which is future contracts. We've got uh, the Enosis DEXs, you know, we've got the, the V3 DEX, the V2 DEX, and we've got Kinetic, which uh, I believe specializing in uh, lending and borrowing on Flare. So stay tuned for that. Um, again, I'll be keeping you all up to date as and when these applications launch. DeFi Llama, one of the biggest trackers of uh, various networks. They've got 270,000 followers. They're now supporting uh, Blaze Swap over on uh, the Songbird and the Flare network. And um, yeah, hopefully they add Enosis as well. That would be pretty cool. A lot of people use Gecko Terminal, which is another popular one, but I think DeFi Llama is um, the most popular. And again, this is great exposure um, for the Flare network, having so many followers. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll add some more in the future too. 
Uh, this is an announcement from Genfinity. So Generation Infinity announcing their latest media partnerships. Kinetic Markets borrowing and lending infrastructure aims to provide a foundation of deep liquidity and a robust DeFi ecosystem, excuse me, on the Flare network. We are excited to highlight Kinetic technology across diverse Web3 communities. So if you're not following Gen, uh, Genfinity, I'd highly recommend it. We've got King Solomon at the helm, and he's been doing a great job creating content for quite some time. And one of the things that I really like in particular about Genfinity is the um, lack of bias to any particular network. If you're looking to expand your scope about the uh, cryptocurrency space in general, definitely be sure to check them out because they cover a lot of different networks and a lot of the latest technology. And they often do uh, Twitter spaces with some of the top people within uh, crypto. Nifty sort of went off the radar a little bit. This was uh, basically tracking the rarities of various NFT projects on Songbird and Flare, and they're introducing Nifty 2.0. And one of the things that they're going to be allowing for is an API, which is specifically for developers, but it's going to allow developers to access their data. So they obviously take a lot of time calculating these rarities and developers can plug into that data and present them in any way they see fit. Uh, I think this is great. And obviously having an open API is uh, only good for the space, you know, sharing that data and allowing others to, to utilize it. Upascent, which is an educational platform built on the Flare network, they've finished their pre-sale and over 274 passes were minted in total. And the remainder, which is 476, will be burnt in the coming, coming weeks. So it just adds to that scarcity aspect of these passes, which, you know, it's only good if you are a holder. I'm really hopeful for a percent you know i see a lot of people throwing money at um certain coins and i just wish that they had the uh, a percent had the support um that they were looking for but still 274 passes is a great achievement and i'm sure that uh, there's better things to come in the future in fact if you did um mint any of these i think there was uh, an announcement about a little a uh, little something special here we go Three people who mint will receive a free one-to-one -one mentoring session with the first creator, which is Robin Hills, a best-selling author in the field of emotional intelligence who has trained nearly half a million students, and he normally charges $750 per session. So that's quite a uh, bang for your buck, right? A lot of stuff being given away from a percent, and I'm looking forward to delving into this course, but also the future courses as well. Staying on the vein of NFTs, yes, it is almost time for the Lucky Claw jackpot. Up for grabs is 50,000 FLR, which is, you know, somewhere close to uh, $1,500 worth. We've got a Flare Community poker deck and then NFTs from Blockbones, Johnny Lawrence, The Phoenix Project. Uh, we've got the Sparktons and also a Floor Sweeper NFT. This collection consists of 1,000 unique NFTs, and each one has a 0.1% chance of winning. It's all verifiable on chain via a smart contract that I wrote and which is publicly viewable. And of course, if you do win, you get the jackpot prize of all of this stuff. And of course, before we do the draw, as we do every month, uh, we'll be doing the Patreon giveaway of some juicy NFTs as well. Blockbones, yes, it is almost uh, time for fusion. This is going to be something very interesting and something that I've been looking forward to showcasing for quite some time. And at the end of the month, it will actually take effect. This is uh, the dressing room and it, the concept is that it's dynamic NFTs where you can choose your own traits and create something special to you. Of course, this is just the head traits right now. Um, but you know, eventually you'll be able to kit them out with various eye traits, uh, torso traits, mouth traits, backgrounds, all of that good stuff. Uh, I think the flare headphones are actually pretty good, I must say. Um, this one is from Stahl, who says, uh, sort of created this infographic, which is pretty impressive. These are all the builders on the flare network, and you can see that it is quite a diverse ecosystem. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this, actually. Um, 
I got a message from Yosh. Thank you. Wow, so much for the donation. That's very generous of you. Uh, Yosh100 asks, is there a way to see how many daily users there are on the network? I know how to look up new wallets, just curious on user activity. And yes, actually there is. Uh, if we just jump over here one sec, because there was a recent announcement from Flare Scan, and I'll show you this website. I did actually forget to bring it up here. Um, this is Flare Scan, and this is, they've just added a load of new charts. This was a couple of days ago. Uh, let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about because I did want to do a video on this. Let's go to rootscan.io and uh, let's go to blockchain here. Uh, search here. So it's opened up a new tab. So the address is flarescan.com. And if you go to the top here on the right, click on charts. And these are the charts that we can see right now, of course, trending upwards, which is great to see. We've got the transactions here, uh, daily users. Let's have a quick peek, right? We can get rid of this and you can add some here, uh, various metrics, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. daily users. So this is going to be active addresses. Uh, we can do Flare. We can also do Songbird as well. Why not? Um, there we go. So let's get rid of the transactions for a second. Um, as you can see, there's been a big pickup. You know, something that is, you, you might see these spikes and it's very likely that these coincide with uh, dates where people are claiming, right? Or claiming delegation rewards, claiming um, uh, flare drop rewards, for example. But recently we've seen a lot of active addresses here, uh, this big sharp increase, which is quite promising. Um, I'm sure you will agree. Um, but yeah, if you do want to check out these charts for yourself, you can find them on flarescan.com. That pretty much wraps up the news for this week. Of course, if you are a member of the Discord group, uh, anyone can join it. So uh, there's a link in the bottom of the description. If you scroll right down to the bottom here, I'm going to be opening this community stage where we can all have a good chinwag and talk about the recent developments, what's going on, what are we looking forward to, all of that good stuff. Everyone is welcome, and hopefully I'll see you there. But if I don't, do have yourself an incredible weekend, and I'd like to thank you again, uh, Josh 100 very generous of you. Thank you for becoming a member and also for the don donation. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy your weekend. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. And until next time, I'm out. We have liftoff.